I'm making this video for Target, who shipped my new bike um, by FedEx. And the whole box is open and unglued. And I have no idea if all the parts are in here or not. FedEx just now dropped this at the front door and left. I see no bag of little attachments. I do see something wrapped up in cardboard down there. Um, completely open box all the way from California to Massachusetts. Not good, Target. Not good, FedEx. This is not how you sell and ship things. Okay? Now, that's the disc brake, which is bent. There is a small box down there. Maybe that's what I need. Need. Maybe there aren't any problems here, but I just want to tell you, Target and FedEx, I needed to buy this bike for leg therapy because I'm in jeopardy of losing my right leg. So sometimes when people buy a bike, it's not because they want to go for a ride, it's because they're saving their leg. Please put more consideration into how you sell and ship things. Thank you. There it is. My new bike is put together. I was very angry when it showed up. And I posted a video to FedEx and Target. You know, you would think FedEx could think of just taping the box closed when it opened. But anyway, um, I started at 10.30. It's 11.55 and I've got it put together. Only one accident and that was because um, I was reading the directions step by step and it gives you directions for either a quick release hub or a nutted hub. The back is nutted so I figured the front was nutted and so I was trying to release the bolts on the front wheel and it's not um, a nutted wheel. It's a quick release and the quick release axle was in another box and I didn't get there until I saw the blood. Um, and so if you're putting a bike together with disc brakes, be very careful because this part of the brake is extremely sharp. It's a deep cut but I don't think I need stitches. Um, read the whole directions before you put it together now this is a 28 inch frame so it's a, the frame itself is a little bit bigger than my other bikes but this is what i rode for many years is a 700 cc um, wheel size with a 28 inch frame it's a beautiful bike um, quick release front wheel seven speeds absolutely perfect colors black purple and pink um, handlebars brakes seven speed fairly adjustable seat I may change the seat a little bit very easy to put together but like I said read through all the directions first an hour and a half to put it together oh my gosh this is the new Schwinn Adamson 700 cc 28 inch frame hybrid bike I just got for Mother's Day um, and I had bought this before I found out the dog needed surgery um, Kay Schwinn you did it good what a beautiful ride I just took this for a ride and unbelievably easy to shift um, easy to ride just a smooth smooth ride if anyone is interested in um, this type of a bike for riding around town um, even commuting if you put a bike rack on it just just wonderful great brakes and again be careful installing the front wheel with the disc brakes uh, the I think they call that the rotor, but I'm not sure. The big wheel of the disc brake is extremely sharp. I cut my hand on it um, today. 
a beautiful bike, um, affordable. I got it at Target, 168 something, and uh, it took about a week to get here. If you can get one, it's an aluminum frame. Um, my other two bikes are steel. It's just a beautiful ride. Now, uh, just to include a couple of highlights here, um, quick release seat. And I have the seat a little bit low right now. I wasn't sure if the 28 inch frame was going to be um, something I wasn't used to right now because I've been riding a 26 inch bike wheel with a much smaller frame, a different kind of frame altogether. So I had the seat a little bit low. I can heighten that seat about an inch. Um, and this type of bike, a hybrid bike with the big wheels, when you get on the bike, you want your the, the pedals to the seat ratio to match your leg. Um, when you go to do a slow turn, you may have to come off the seat if you want to put your foot on the ground. That's how I ride it anyway. Um, wonderful back brakes, wonderful front brakes. It came with um, front reflector. It's got a Shimano um, shifter, seven speed, two back reflectors. Not sure. Kind of derailleur it is. I don't have my glasses on. Um, T something. I can't read that. I'm sorry. Um, beautiful, beautiful bike. Well worth the money. I would buy another one of these again. I had an awful time with the shipping and anybody who knows me knows I get very upset with FedEx when they just toss boxes or boxes um, arrive opened. I mean when I first saw this box open, I was afraid that half of the parts had been taken out of the box. So yeah, I, w I was angry, and I need this for therapy. Um, it will fit on my trainer rack, which means um, it will also tow my dog's trailer. So if, if I want to, I could actually rehome the other two bikes and use this one bike for everything I need. So, I believe it's still made in China. So, dear Schwinn, please come back to America. Made in the USA is better, but it's a beautiful bike with a limited lifetime warranty. Um, there's something else I want to add here, and I'm having kind of a loopy day uh, today. I've been on the phone with the vet over the dog. So, I'm going to put all of these Schwinn videos together including the angry one with FedEx at the beginning and just make one video um, but so I'm I'm a little bit um, not in sync right now but look at these rims I've never seen rims like this these rims are v-shaped now I haven't had a new bike um, in about two years but my other new bike did not, no, maybe three years, um, did not have vertical rims like this. Look at that. So now I'm wondering if I get a flat. And this is actually part of the rim, and it's like a CD almost, and that's where the brakes ride. So I could adjust this brake just a little bit, angle it a little bit better. Um, but look at that, I've never seen rims like this. So maybe when they use the term hybrid, um, you know, they take a little bit of license with how they make things. But what I was saying is, so when I go to put new tubes and or tires on here, on, on flat rims, you put a rim strip down so that the um, spoke ends don't rip into the tube and it looks like that's been eliminated with this kind of a rim style and I really like that they put reflectors on the frame like this 
because normally they're on the seat or they're on the um, the seat post and um, the chain guard is plastic which could have been metal in my opinion um, I had thought the disc brake was bent when I first opened it but it isn't and this is going to be something I look into because um, really cool way to have front brakes it really is um, extremely sharp I still my fingers still throbbing from um, the cut I got today and one of the things in the manual is check your quick release areas before every ride um, which I would suggest doing but I'm I've never had disc brakes before so I'll be looking into that um, nice tires I'm a happy camper. My cardiologist yesterday thought it was really cool that I'm going to have three bikes in my living room. He said, all the bikes you can fit in your living room, the better. He was saying that riding, walking, any kind of exercise we can get is good. And of course you could read the derailleur before, and I couldn't. It's 20 by Shimano and um, seven speed and this is you got a new bike and you want to go for a ride this is the second time today I get the bike out and it starts to ring so um, and this one will always be in the house and will be cleaned off I already got it dirty and I have to get it clean brand new bike summertime get out and ride the sun is out and it's going to pour. It's, it's, see the bird bath? It's raining and sunny at the same time. It's that kind of a day.